In this video, we are going to talk about organizing the scene and the scene elements in Lumion 11 using layers and other tools that we find in the software. So let's start here with a scene. I want to show you a scene that I have already created using layers. So here you can see the simple architecture of this project. And right here, you can see I have many layers which right now are deactivated. So I used to divide my work, divide the scene elements into different layers in order to work more efficiently and in an optimized way. So for example, if I need to work on the architecture, I don't need all the vegetation in the background. Or if I need to work, for example, in interior design here, again, I don't need anything that is uh, exterior. Or perhaps I need to have just a uh, really close look of this kitchen here or living room so I don't need objects and elements that are not in this room. Also here I'm using a 2D figure instead of 3D to again make things lighter and not heavier when I need to work here really fluidly and uh, optimizing the workspace view right here. Okay now if I go here and I open up the layers by clicking on the eye icon, I can start to see all the other stuff that's around. All right. So let me explain to you everything from the beginning. Let's start with a brand new scene. So we'll create a new, create plain environment. So this way we can keep it real simple and explain everything step by step. So the first thing here that I want to add is probably the architecture. So this is uh, starting from the main elements, which probably will be your architecture. So I will go to import models and bring in some of the existing architecture, for example, Fansworth House, or if you have your project, of course, you can bring in your project. Now I'll click here into the select command so I can exit the placement. Okay, now you can see this is the bare architecture or the well the imported object and we we already saw this tool here which is pretty useful and it will let you import variations so you can import for example option a or option b or option c and so on of the same project so you can maybe have one without uh, this part of the architecture and maybe another one with two floors and then uh, show it to your client or to your professor at the university and then you can decide which one works the best. So variation, it's kind of a, a switch that you can also uh, create using layers. So for example, here I have layer one, so I can start to type in, so I can click here and rename this and I can start to name this architecture. So it's gonna be the basic of my project, the, the base point. And then I can create here another layer and call it option two or option B or arch architecture option B. You, you can do the variation also here. So for example, let's bring in, well, let me now deactivate this one. So another important thing is when you need to deactivate a layer you can click on another one. So if I click here, this is the active layer. If I, and it becomes white. If I click here, this is gonna be the active layer. Now the active layer, it's important because everything you're gonna bring in from now on is gonna go here. So for example, if I want to bring in another architecture, I can deactivate the original one and then I can go to imported models, double click and I want to bring this other one here. Okay. And then click on the select to select it. And then you can move it around. And then you can see by turning the original architecture layer on, you can see both. And then you can perhaps try to align it. Now be careful because this is going to snap on the surfaces. So then you need to click on the G here so you can hold G 
key and then move it and place it approximately into the same position. Okay, so right now I can switch from one to the other without using variations, but using just the layers. So one goes off and the other one goes on. Now be careful to click exactly on the eye icon, otherwise it's not gonna hide it. Be careful because you cannot hide an active layer. So if I click on the eye icon here, it's not gonna do anything. So I need to move here and then click on the eye icon to hide the original architecture. Okay, let's use this option B then. And let's start to insert some other elements. Okay, so first of all, I want to show you these other types of uh, people. So if I go to people and animals, we already saw how we can bring in these characters here. Now, if I click this one, I press R on the keyboard to rotate it and then place it right there. Okay, and then I can continue to place other people around. Now, this one here is probably the most heavy object because it's animated, it has textures, it has a lot of details. So let me try to zoom in a little bit. So I will click here on this panel and use the focus on selection. Okay, you can see it has a lot of details. It's looking pretty good, but it's kind of pretty heavy to render for the for your computer and the software. So be careful on adding a lot of these elements into the scene. So also animals are pretty heavy and also vehicles and we have a lot of stuff, but we're gonna talk about people right now. And you can, again, add some nice 3D pads, but this also will be a bit heavy to render. Now, the other option it's still in people and animals is to use silhouettes. Now, silhouettes are 3D, so they work just like another uh, 3D elements, but they don't have all those details, the textures, and so on, and the animation. So these are like static characters that you can place around and they will be less heavy because they will be only with uh, 3D models and not with the textures. And also you have animal silhouettes, so same thing. So if you don't need something animated, you don't need something so detailed and defined, I suggest you can use these silhouettes here. These are often used in architecture visualization to in technical drawings to show the people around the project. And also you have 2D people. So you have 2D silhouettes and 2D people. So if you want to make it even lighter, you can use this one. So for example, I can use this guy here and place it right there. Okay, and well, let's place this one down there. So 